Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series, facilitated by renowned educators. ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. I'm Eisinger, your host with the IEC webinar series. Each and every week at the IEC, we bring in special guests. Today, I'm really pleased to uh, have Rob Booker with us. Rob is the Motley Fool of Foreign Exchange. Uh, he was with us a couple times last year in 2008. He correctly called the U.S. dollar uh, bottoming out, being con- extremely oversold. Today, he'll be talking about longer-term trading trends using ISEFX options. Rob, really pleased that you're with us. Hey, Steve. It's good to be here. Can you hear me okay? Yes, you're perfectly clear. See, I uh, just want to give you the ball, and... Uh, you're ready to go, so uh, take it away, Rob. Thanks again for joining us. All right, Steve, it's good to be here. First of all, uh, my name is Rob Booker. I'm an independent currency trader and um, kind of a fanatic about the currency markets, and I'm super pleased to be with you, and I'm appreciative of your time that you have. It's interesting. Steve tends to invite me um, to be here, and uh, today's kind of fortuitous. We weren't really planning on this until the last minute. Ten- I tend to get invited to speak um, to with the... Uh, ISC and Steve Meisinger on these webinars at just the exact moment when I have a ridiculously strong opinion about the markets. And uh, I'm here today uh, to talk a little bit about how I trade those longer-term trends. We're going to go over some principles that you, you might have heard me go over before, although I don't recognize a lot of the names on the list. I'd also like to talk specifically about why I think um, the, the time is right, sort of, and the 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 destruction of the British pound and the demise of the British pound is maybe at uh, is, is maybe at a turning point, and we can we can certainly find out if that's going to be true or not from here. I also want to talk a little bit about money management. I want to talk a little bit about how options provide an opportunity to sort of, um, although there is a ton of risk in any type of trading, and there's no way to eliminate risk. Uh, completely from your trading, there are some interesting characteristics about the options on Forex that provide a little bit of insurance or at least a little bit of additional protection um, in an environment which is trading, which is known to be risky, and which has no guarantees attached to it whatsoever. I'm also here and wanted to mention that I'm I'm here on the invitation of uh, Options University. And uh, near the end, I'll provide a link to uh, where you can get the copy of the presentation that we go over. Um, But I do appreciate Brett and all the folks at Options University. Something fell through, and uh, whoever was previously um, scheduled to speak was not able to. And like I said, it's kind of fortuitous because we're right at a moment. I mean, literally today, this is the day when I started to accumulate a position on the British pound. And uh, this is a, it's a perfect time to have a discussion about how options with uh, the, the nature of sort of a fixed amount of risk with an investment that you make can be a complement to trading in the spot Forex world, which it is for me, uh, or it can be you know, a possible investment strategy altogether in, in and of itself. So Steve, um, I guess what makes sense now maybe to begin with a little bit is to just talk about basically the basic options that we're looking at, like the AUX and the BPX and, you know, the uh, yuck and whatnot. It, is the, I think the next slide should probably do that for us. Um, just want to make sure that Steve and I are communicating today on the same page. But although I get a lot, I get really excited about the market, and I'm thrilled about your questions and about whatever we can talk about, it, it is imperative that we discuss and, and make sure that it's noted that um, any strategies that we talk about today, really, there's nothing, that's, there's nothing that's guaranteed about the world of trading. And if the last four months have taught us anything, or the last year has taught us anything, it's that um, if anything can go wrong in the markets, it certainly will, which I think is an argument for options, <laughs> and in particular options on Forex. Um, 
But on behalf of sort of, you know, Steve Meisinger and, and the ISC and Options University and, and myself, it's just important to say that options do include risk. Although we talk a lot about how options can minimize risk, it's important to note that um, a lot of people have gone broke trading options. And if you don't, if you want to be irresponsible um, in, in your trading, then um, it's not really going to matter what I say or Steve says or anybody at Options University ever says to you. Um, it's not going to matter. So remember that options carry risk, that there are not, um, you know, th there aren't any guarantees in the world of trading. Here's some interesting stuff about ISE FX options. They're, they're already available through your broker. Um, a lot of people didn't know this, and a lot of people um, still that I talk to aren't aware of this, but they're interested about it when they find out. These are exchange-listed securities. So, Steve, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but this is something that I always say. We're talking about something that's not OTC. This is not over-the-counter, party-to-party. You're not sort of um, on the hook for uh, an obligation of another party. This is exchange traded, so it's passing through a central exchange, which Spot Forex, by the way, is not. Steve, correct? That's correct, and not only that, they're cleared by the Options Clearing Corp, which is even better. So after they're traded at the IAC, they're cleared by the Options Clearing Corp, and they have a AAA credit rating. So you're exactly right. Tremendous integrity in this market. Thanks, right, bro. and that's, I think um, it's, we get excited about a market, we get excited about a security, we get excited about a, a notion about the dollar or whatever, and a lot of times, and, and listen, I'm the National Association President of what the hell could go wrong with whatever I'm doing right now, and I'm constantly sort of trying to be, remain aware of the things that could go wrong. And I think when you trade an exchange-traded product as a hedge or as um, an additional element of your trading strategy or another layer on top of your strategy, I, I think what you're doing is, and this is my personal opinion, but I think what you're doing is you're, you're becoming more aware of what could go wrong, and you're thinking of not only the risk associated with your position, but the risk associated with your counterparty, and not enough people um, think about that. Now, if you're familiar with butterfly spreads, or you're familiar with bull spreads, or call spreads, um, all of those things that you're um, accustomed to thinking about in the world of equity options are available to you in the world of Forex options. And this is, still, this is still sort of territory, and I, I recognize this all the time when I look at these quotes on the options. This is territory that um, still enough people are focusing on that there's liquidity, but not enough, not enough people are focusing on as sort of an element of their trading style, meaning not enough people still realize that these are available to them, and so there can be some opportunities that exist which sometimes don't exist for me in the spot trading world, which is why I'm still excited about um, options. There's a lot of potential here. Um, this is how everything is quoted as the dollar in front. So for those of you who are familiar with Forex and are familiar with the, uh, the, the base pair and the other pair um, strategy, in the world of FX options on the IC, we're really talking about the dollar against all of these different symbols. So you've got the AUX for Australian dollar, BPX, CDD, EUI, SFC, and Yuck. I'm sort of going to focus today a little bit of my discussion on a fundamental and technical level on the BPX, on the British pound. However, I've got plenty to say, um, statistically speaking, and plenty to say about how I sort of go about the process of setting things up or developing a strategy for the sake of trading a trend. Um, with respect to other currencies as well. So although they're pairs, they're all denominated sort of in dollars. These are cash settled options. You, you already knew this. And I want to focus on something that I spend a lot of time talking about over and over and over again, um, that none of this is going to matter in the end. None of it. None of, none of what Steve ever says or anybody that comes on here is ever going to matter um, if you don't focus on just a couple things. And I certainly don't mean to be um, patronizing, and that's not the way I mean any of this. I've struggled in my trading uh, for many years to remember what's most important. And for a lot of people, folks, a lot of people think the trading strategy is the most important element. The trading strategy is, is really not as relevant as what you do with your money and how you manage your risk. That is the whole name of the game. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.